back into the classroom again, January 2014. Uh, my landowner, I texted him and let him know that I was here, and he said, I hope you're amphibious. He weren't lying, was he? It's, uh, it's at least a guarantee that we know boats are going to get christened. A proper one, by the squelching. Always good to test the kit. Sports Direct are doing a pretty cool range of hiking boots at the moment. Um, good money, these were about 28 quid I think. Um, they've all got pretty cool outdoor names like Surge, Trifan, stuff like that. I picked the ones called Corbett. <laughs> so, dedicated to Mr. Ronnie Corbett. A man who swallowed five pounds worth of pennies and halfpennies was rushed to Southend Hospital yesterday. Doctors say he spent a quiet night and 43 pence. <laughs> They, they don't expect any change tomorrow. True January scene. All brown but the green of the holly. New casualties. But, major new activity as well. Look at that. Fellas. After the uh, bit of clearance that I did on the autumn outing trip, I, uh, I had a nice little space set up. Uh, with all the wind that we've got at the moment, that one already looks like it's uh, lost a few big ones. And uh, that's leaning in and looking a bit spindly and fragile. So. And then, of course, even closer, we've got this nasty old boy. Well, lovely old boy, but nasty if he falls on me. So I think I'm going to avoid pitching up there until it's quite a lot calmer. All things considered, I think I'll stay with Old Faithful tonight. Um, they're good, safe trees. I know them well. They work with the shelter, particularly the uh, version of it that I'm going to be using today, which I'll uh, show you later. There's always a spot for a hammock chair and a kitchen. Shelter wise tonight I'm in a uh, cot mounted mozzie net but I've added a specific sized one of these to the bottom and I've put some uh, elastic cold bungees on the corners to sort of create a bathtub effect around the bottom because although it's a wax material it's not completely waterproof so you do get a bit of damp underneath you. So I'm going to trial that tonight. So there's my top layer. Um, I normally set up between those trees, but the wind's a different direction. It's coming from the east today, so and it's pretty pretty fierce as well. So I'm setting up this way. Um, it is forecast to rain tonight, and that does look pretty pretty horrible over there. So it probably will. But that one should do a very nice job of keeping it all off me. I got my shelter up in the end and then I had to take cover. That roar that you can hear is not an aeroplane from South End Airport. That's just the wind. I pick all the good nights, don't I? If all else fails and you've got to take cover from the weather, I suppose you can always try your stocking presents, peanut and oak trek bars, quite nice. Must be something to do with the paw print logo. Um, kids pack lunch bag, sticker fastened chorizo sausage. Oh yes. Let's get some dinner on. Oh, look at that stuff. I'm not waiting for all of that to cook. Mmm. Grand stuff, that is. 
off Jedi Knight of the Woods and the boys at Leaf Life Bushcraft. Oh yes, deli wraps. Quite literally, the best thing since sliced bread. Mmm. That's a pretty good plate as well. Um, sorry guys, I'm only letting you join me for the last mouthful. I don't mean not to share, but I just couldn't wait. Oh, that is the one. Time to go a little bit alternative wavelength, I think. There you go. One cop-mounted mozzie net, lit with nothing more than the head torch. And a newly modded, do-it-yourself, near-infrared. Pretty good. That's a bit bergen. Bladders on the side. Pitch is pretty clear. I thought it might be blurry because the cameras aren't exactly designed for this. But the image is actually pretty clear. It doesn't see... It's obviously not um, throwing out infrared from the camera, so it's not seeing the screen on, but it does see its own LEDs reflected in it. So it's not picking up any of the light flash, which I'm seeing, but it does pick up something. So, but I'm now flashing that. Look, I can see the, uh, I can see a big patch of light moving around, but you can't actually pick it up on the cat. Oh, you can see a little, can you see a little dot there moving around in the corner? It's really not picking much of it up. But that is pretty good. A little makeshift larder in the corner. Torch on my phone. It lights it up pretty well. Fairly impressed with that. Picks up quite a bit of detail. Nice. I think we'll have to call that done, chaps. Mission accomplished. There's no missing that, is there? But the uh, near infrared one don't hardly pick it up at all. There really is no missing that. Good torches, these are. Check that out. This will be where we find out what that freaky thing that ran through the wood is. And some uh, lost footage tape will turn up on YouTube of my last hours. Wah -ah -ah. I had loads of suggestions as to what it could have been. The majority reckon a deer, which is fantastic news if they're getting here. Um, it's not really an area that's known for them, but they've been seen a little further out, so why not? I'll keep my eyes peeled. My top three out of the more imaginative ideas are, in third place, Sandy of Wiltshire Man with the Wood Tour Devil Geist, who checks out unsuspecting woodland visitors, then gets more and more menacing until their victim dies of fright. Uh, in second place, with Spring Hill Jack, was Mark Bradley F1. I don't like this one. Looks too much like our creepy visitor on a strength in numbers trip. Uh, but the outright winner, combining three creatures in one in proper freaky hybrid Scooby-Doo style, was Earth Ravens, Vampire wear chicken. Nice one, mate. Cheers for all your suggestions, guys. Uh, some of which probably don't want to be dwelling on too much while you're alone in the dark in the woods. Let's just hope it's a cute, fluffy deer, eh? Caught ya. Wave that tail in the air. <laughs> I'm 
morning everyone. Um, chilly night last night, I mean it is the end of January after all. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with this shelter layout, uh, actually. This sort of tub ground sheet, bathed up all around the outside, does a really good job of keeping the wind out as well because it comes up higher than I lay. Which is handy because I dipped out in the night, um, the wind changed direction, so instead of coming into the shelter back, it started coming along the tunnel. So if it wasn't for this, I would have been fairly windswept. So it works out quite well. All in all, pretty good night. The first signs of bluebells. This is a superb wood for bluebells. When they're all up from ground level, it's like a haze of blue. Especially in one of those, the uh, cotton mounted things. Because you're so low at the ground when you sleep in them, you just you look round 360 degrees, you've just got this sea of blue. Amazing view. Well, time to leave, all packed up and ready to go. Um, it's always a bit sad, isn't it, when you've got to leave, go back to the town, leave all this. But I do have a blonde brunette and a redhead at home waiting for me, so it's not all bad. My lovely ladies, all packed up, ready to set off. Just before the rain starts as well, by the looks of it, it's looking <laughs> pretty foul, windy, cold, damp, and horrible. And I might just pip it to the post. Fingers crossed. I just wanted to say a big thank you to uh, Stefan at Talith Dernan as well for sending me a little Christmas care package. <laughs> he, uh, he sent me an outdoor rescue tin with an incredible number of things in it actually. If you can pause this and see the number of um, contents in there, it's amazing for a tin so small. And it's a metal tin so you can do your water in there as well. Um, what else? Man flu tablets. I'm probably almost certainly going to need those this season. <laughs> Normally do. Uh, and Tabasco spicy brand chocolate. That's awesome, mate. Although, if that's dark chocolate, as I suspect, I'm not even going to get a look in. The wife's going to eat that. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Little note as well. Uh, Mick, I hope you and your family are well and looking forward to the holidays. Enclosed is a small prezzy for Christmas to say thanks again for all your videos and advice. I'll give you a shout when I touch down in the land of the white stiletto in the new year. I hope you have a great Christmas and a very happy new year. All the best my friend, Stefan aka Talif Dernan. Cheers buddy, it's very very nice of you.